What is up guys, RSC6414 here, back with another video. I'm back, uh, so now I'm going to preview TNA Hardcore Justice, which continues this week. It's another free per review kind of thing. Uh, as most of you know who watched TNA last week, you saw uh, Bully Ray become new TNA World Heavyweight Champ. I'm pretty happy about that myself, I've got to say. Uh, I tried to upload a Supercard Radio episode 2, but for some reason uh, I, that wouldn't upload. So, apologize, but now I'm previewing Hardcore Justice for this week. First thing we have is like a street fight, four members in the Bound for Glory series going at it. Um, I'm sure we'll see some good action there. Uh, it's a really predictable match if you ask me. You've got the three guys at the bottom that, in my opinion, have the least chance, like no chance in winning. Hernandez, Jay Bradley, and Joseph Park against Christopher Daniels, who's now formed an alliance. He was with Kazarian before, obviously, his bad influence. Now Bobby Roode, two weeks ago, they announced that they were forming an alliance. Last week, Roode won a tables match, and Kazarian won the ladder match for 20 points. So now I just think the pattern's going to happen. Christopher Daniels is going to win the match for 20, show that this alliance is working, and that everything's going great for them. And uh, this alliance looks to be uh, helping Christopher Daniels and Kazarian. Um, now they've definitely uh, moved up in the standings, especially Kazarian. And now Daniels probably will too. So I expect Daniels to go over and win here uh, in this street fight. I don't, I really, to be honest, I don't see Jay Bradley or Hernandez or Park winning at all. I think Christopher Daniels is going to win for sure. We also have a new main event mafia member revealed this week because uh, Kurt Angle is DUI uh, most of you know um, he's going to like rehab so he's no longer a main event mafia at this point in time uh, so they're re revealing a new member I already know who it is because it was accidentally spoiled to me uh, a spoiler that basically I didn't even want but somebody told me anyway and I know the member but I won't spoil it for you guys um, It'll, it'll be interesting, I'll say that. Then they're going up against the Aces and Eights. Uh, the match was supposed to happen last week, but didn't because of Kurt Angle's DUI. So now they moved it to this week. It'll be the Aces and Eights versus Main Event Mafia going at it. Five on five action, I think. Uh, the member who gets pinned of Aces and Eights or Main Event Mafia, whoever loses the match, the person that gets pinned has to leave TNA forever. And uh, it's... It, most of you would think I've, I got this spoiled to me as well unfortunately I didn't want it to happen but it <laughs> again got spoiled so I already know who's going to leave I'm not going to give you any hints or anything um, but it'll be interesting we all know that Main Event Mafia is not going to lose this match Aces and Eights is going to lose and one member from Aces and Eights will get pinned fortunately that's the case it's really predictable Main Event Mafia is going to win it just depends on which Aces and Eights member gets pinned is the interesting thing. We just There are too many guys, important guys in Main Event Mafia who are the top guys of the company right now. It's obvious that they wouldn't let them get pinned and leave TNA forever. It just wouldn't happen. So it's going to be Aces and Eights, as most of you probably know. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, Main Event Mafia is definitely going to win this. Uh, to be honest, I'm looking forward to this match, even though I know it's going to who's going to uh, get pinned, um, and who's going to leave, and who's going to win. But uh, it'll be interesting for sure. I'm interested to see what other matches they'll put together for Hardcore Justice since they just had one last week. Uh, we also got revealed that there's, a, uh, I think, a new free preview, if I'm not mistaken, in like September 12th or something. I think it's No Surrender. Uh, they Obviously, most of you know who followed TNA for a while. That's been a... Uh, pay-per-view for a while now they're turning that into free per view so September 12th no surrender that'll be interesting as well but uh, hardcore justice this week looks very predictable um, to be honest sort of whatever I'm not really I'm sort of somewhat excited for the uh, aces and eights main event mafia even though I know it's gonna get pinned but the street fight will be cool just to see people beat the crap out of each other with some kendo sticks and all kinds of trash cans stuff like that so it'll be interesting, but we all know Christopher Daniels will probably win here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Hardcore Justice. Check it out tomorrow night at 9 p.m. on Spike. Most of you know. Um, 
hopefully it will be pretty good. So, yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, check out my other videos and subscribe.